guys, welcome to Praise Favor Gist, aka Gist with me, guys. Look what we have today. Today we are making catfish. We are going to do barbecue, catfish barbecue. So we are going to green this um, catfish, as you can see. So the ingredients I have here is some um, bear pepper, um, two balls of onions, garlic, ginger and abarino abarino pepper yeah this fresh pepper yes you can see it too so and um, other ingredients are my just a little bit of um thyme um thyme curry and um all purple seasoning so known as seasoning cube a little bit chili because i'm going to make it very spicy yeah guys so first we are going to crush blend our um, uh, a bear pepper that has been washed and clean. So first we are going to cross blend the, the bear pepper, onions and ginger and garlic. So guys, yes guys, everything is in here. We are going to blend this. I'm not going to use water to blend it. I'm going to use um, just some olive oil. So I don't want it to be watery. That's why we use my olive oil to blend. Yeah, so I'm going to just add one seasoning cube. So, guys, so guys, we are going to blend. Yes, guys. So at this point, I place my oil. You know, I already have um, um oil inside here. Then had my. Okay, guys. So. This is my rough blended mixture. That is the rough blended mixture. So give it a stir. So we allow it to fry for just some minutes. Why that so why that is on the fire? I've already paper towel the fish, so at this point I still need to take out the excess water. Let me just paper towel it. I've done that before, but let me just do it now. So I'm going to cut it, chop it a little bit so I can fill in my, my sauce. So guys, so this is our, our sauce stay on the fire. At this point, I add my curry, thyme, and mm. seasoning cube, and salt to taste. And salt to taste. Stop, stop, stop. It's good to be. So give it a stir. Oh my god. So leave it to fry. Like it's it to dry. So Guys, see, I've. Uh, chop and cut a little bit from the, the fish so that this place we are going to fill the sauce we we'll fill the sauce in with in here all these places where we are going to fill the sauce so also with the other side flip it to the other side and also cut so guys our sauce is ready this method of barbecue fish guys is something else try this method guys you will love the outcome you will love the outcome of it okay. so our sauce is ready yeah, i think i'm still going to pick up towel the fish a little bit to get out the excess water for me it's chili i want to have extra pepper to just only one because my husband love it when it's very very chilly oh my god so i didn't add uh, much pepper to this because of the kids because the kids are also going to eat for me so wow i added this um extra chili pepper i'm going to add it just for only one because of my my dali husband because he like it when it's very chilly when it's very purple so it's optional you can skip this one Yes, our foil paper. I'm um, this one. I'm going to place the fish. 
so I just grease it with a little bit of olive oil. So this place is clean with fish. So I'm going to fill in our socks. So first, this one is the one I said I will add extra chili pepper just for my husband. Because I like it to be chilly. Guys, I'm scared to use my hands. Ah, gosh. So guys, after rubbing the extra chili, I'm going to fill in our sauce just like this. As you can see, just like this. Feel it. Feel it, feel it. Come on. So guys, this is it. I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to flip it over and don't descend to the other side. Guys, you can also leave it like this and it will still come out perfectly. It will come out fine. But another unique way. This is another unique way. I'm going to add more onions. Yes. Onions. Our onions disturbance. I'm going to add onions. Another unique way in tomatoes. Fresh tomatoes. Guys, you can skip this part if you don't want it like this. It will come out perfectly okay with um, this other sauce. But this is another unique way. Maybe you have not come across this before, guys. So I'm going to leave this to marinate for like about one or two hours because one or two hours I will leave it to marinate before I will add it to the oven. Yes, guys, this is it. So guys, come on. Guys, this is it. So at this point, I'm going to wrap it and leave it to marinate for two hours before I will place it in the oven. Look how beautiful is it. Oh God, I can't wait. <laughs> this so, it's going to be so yummy, 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 yummy. So delicious. So guys, so guys, this is how I'm going to wrap it. I'm going to place another foil paper on top. To cover and wrap everywhere. So guys, this is it. We are going to leave it for, put it in the, um, leave it to marinate for like two hours before we grain it. Put it in the oven, guys, this is it. So for two hours, we are going to leave it, okay? See you guys in the next two hours, then we'll put it in the oven. Guys, our fish have marinated for many hours now, three hours, four hours, okay? So at this point, it's time to put it in the oven. So it's going down with um, plantain. So guys, let's, grill it for like one hour see you guys in one hour guys our barbecue is ready osma couldn't wait for me to do the video i have already started eating it oh my god before i could come back from the kitchen wow our barbecue is ready going down with some plantain and some salad oh wow. my god this looks so yum. Mm. 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 I already started eating it. You don't wait for me. Mm -mm -mm. Guys. Mm. Can't wait anymore. Okay, guys. See you at the dining table. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.